In the previous three episodes uh, on the bin packing problem, I showed you how to uh, first model the bin packing problem using the mathematical programming, mixed integer programming model, then how to solve it using Gurobi uh, optimizer. This was the model. And then how to implement the heuristic, first we decreasing heuristic for the bin packing, and then, then how to feed the result of this heuristic uh, into the model to help it find a better starting solution and also to provide an upper bound. I'm going to slightly modify this um, function now uh, just so that we can use it with or without the heuristic. So I will say UB has a default value none and bin for items the default is none. And then we will say if UB equals none, then make UB equal to n. And also I'm going to say here if bin for item is not none, then let's use the initial solution from this bin for item. So now this heuristic, it should work without an initial solution or with the initial solution if I have one, right? And um, this, this model. So basically I can uh, try it. Uh, one more thing I want to modify is to say if log to console is true, then we print this, otherwise we don't print this. So let's again compile this. So now let's say if I try uh, instance number uh, zero and I try to run, right, let's change this with n bins equal. If I run this, um, and um, uh, so the heuristic finds a solution of 23, but the exact solver finds a solution 22 and the lower bound 22. But if I, for example, try uh, instance number five and let's limit it to, let's say, five seconds, um, right, then the heuristic finds solution 201. And the model finds a solution with 201 with a lower bound 198. But if I try to, let's say, run it without the heuristic, if I say, uh, let's comment this out, and I say, just run it without providing these and just say log to console equals false and time limit equals five, right? So I'm not providing the initial solution here. Then it runs for five seconds and then it returns a solution 346, much worse, right? So you see there is benefit in using the heuristic. So uh, what's also interesting is if I want to run this, um, um, let's say test my different methods for all the instances, right? What is interesting also is to find out how long uh, a certain method takes. Now, the first feed decreasing is probably going to be very fast, but the model can take different time. And so it would be a good idea to measure the processing time for a particular, uh, for a particular method. So what we can do is now, instead of running this just for one instance, I could loop uh, I could run a loop, so say for um, for each instance in the bin packing data set, right? I want to run, so I want to say for index and bin packing data in enumerate bin packing data set. If you remember the bin packing data set, at the beginning, we have defined it as a list here, as a list of instances, right? So I want to run it for each of those instances, right? And so, for example, what I can do is I can say um, run the heuristic, right? To run the heuristic, we can do this. Bin number of bins, right? And we could say, for example, we could then print 
right? Uh, and say n bins. Or we could say for index, print n bins, right? And so we could see how well, um, oh, this is not working correctly because we did not extract the data. So we have to say here, now that you have the data, take C and W from the data and then call the heuristic and then let's run it. And it is showing us, right, that it is uh, finding 23 bins here, 23 bins here, 49 and so on. These are the solutions by the heuristic, right? Similarly, we can run, uh, for example, the exact algorithm and um, to do that, we can run, instead of this method, I can call now my model. And I can say, um, n bins, n bins, b bins, right? Um, run this with, let's say, time limit 5. And we can, let's actually create it in another box, so in another cell. And let's run this. So actually adding also a lower bound to the display, when I run this with a time limit five seconds, we're getting the following. And if you re recall, I mean what I'm displaying here is the first number is the, uh, the solution that is found by the solver, and the second number is the bound. So you see this one is optimal, but this one, the gap is one, this one, the gap is one, and this one, the gap is five, and so on. And you see, for example, that already at this instance, uh, the um, right where the... This, if with these two instances, the heuristic was worse, 23, 23, whereas this finds 22 and this even 21. Here, the heuristic matches, but this and this instance, actually, heuristic is better. Why? Because the model gets larger and larger, and the solver finds it difficult to, to, to get even to the first good solution. And you see the situation is actually uh, really uh, bad when we get to the largest instances, right? The heuristic finds 403 bins, whereas this finds 700 and the lower bound is zero, so it actually didn't even manage to like set up properly, right? So the gaps here are quite large, right? And then we can do another test. So I'll just copy this and create another cell here. And what I will do here is I will also, now we, I will use the heuristic. So I'm going to get first the heuristic solution and then feed this heuristic into the exact and see the difference, right? Bin for item and now I will try to run this and pause so that you don't have to wait for it. So you see now that it is running, uh, we can see uh, there are already improvements. So for example, in instance number two, right, which uh, we, we could not solve using, using the heuristic of easily to optimality, uh, sorry, the um, heuristic found 49, the exact found 49 with lower bound 48, but if you provide the initial solution 49 to the exact method from the heuristic, now the exact method within five seconds is able to improve it to 48. So you see there is an improvement here. The exact method combined with the heuristic works better than the heuristic and works better than the exact method on its own, right? And uh, you see in the other instances, it's also much better. So for example, even the largest instance, which is um, which uh, has uh, 1,000 items, if you recall, right? Uh, on its own, it found a solution, the heuristic found a solution 403. The exact method was very slow and could only find a solution of 700 bins and no lower bound of significance. But now that we run it, uh, right, in the exact method with the heuristic initial solution, which, right, it didn't improve the 403, but it gave us a lower bound 399. And so you see, uh, right, this combination here um, is, is, is actually much better than uh, the heuristic on its own or the exact method on its own. Compared to the heuristic, this actually can improve some of the solutions. And compared to the exact, uh, right, uh, on its own, the, the, this actually can do more work if it is provided the initial solution. Uh, it can actually get sometimes better lower bounds, right, uh, or sometimes better solutions. So, so uh, this is, right, of course, this is a very primitive way of testing it. We could output it to some data frame. Uh, we could also try to collect uh, the computation time, right? Sometimes this, uh, these models solve uh, 
before the time limit is reached. So we could also collect computation time. You can do this using uh, a time package and a function called time, right? Um, so for example, you could additionally say here from time import time. And uh, so there's a time function in the time package. And then you could say something like t start equals time. And then you can say um, t end equals time, right? So here in this, we'll be basically measuring how long these three functions, how much time they are taking. And then we can display here the difference, which is actually going to be, I think, in seconds, t and minus t start. And I can, for example, run this now for maybe 10 seconds rather than 5. And let's run it again. And I will pause the video so that you can see the result very quickly. So you see it's still running. The last instance is now being solved or it finished. And you can see the computation times also here now displayed as the last result in seconds, right? So the first instance solved in less than one second. The second one took 10 seconds and didn't solve to optimality. There is still a gap of one here. Um, and uh, you see how imprecise it can be. It's actually 20 bins, but it is displaying as 20 point, and there is a, some tiny fraction there. The, 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 the instance number two, the third instance, solved to optimality in one second, 25, uh, 0.25, right? Whereas uh, earlier when we tried it for, uh, for, for five seconds, we couldn't solve it without a heuristic solution. So here you have an improvement due to providing the heuristic solution. So this is, right, it shows you uh, how you can test for a particular set of uh, benchmark instances, how you can test different methods, and obviously you can improve the display and provide uh, visualizations, charts, or even export it maybe to Excel and, and do additional analysis um, in order to see you know, which method works better and test different methods for the same, the same problem.